Um, in karate, basic karate anyway, receptions, commonly called blocks, tend to strike, right? You hit something with your block. Never happens or very seldom happens in Aikido. Aikido tries to blend there. Okay, and I'm here, Shida Shomanuchi, and I'm trying to blend like this, right? So that I don't feel any pressure on my arm, if I were doing go slow, I'm going to do karate, I go, ah! fair? Okay, now the trick is, can I merge those two? Okay, and if I do this, right, she misses anyway, and my block, and this is the block on the inside, my upper block didn't take much. If I do it on the outside, my upper block doesn't have a lot of burden here. You follow me? She just goes right by me. It's the same thing we just did. I'm just extending it. Now, for karateka, you'll feel comfortable doing an upper block. And that's fine. Aiki people, they're used to doing this, right? Fair? OK. Let's do that same thing, but I'm not going to take her down. I just want to do this. Now, you're not going to be starting here, you'll be starting here. But in order to prevent that, right, what I have to do is I have to shift my weight. You see, it's very much like shifting your weight and moving back. Watch it. And let's say. You know, if we're doing kotagaishi, we usually go like this, we set up, and we know it's coming and we go like this, right? But if you have the wrong foot forward, you go, oh, well, I better do this, and, okay, is that fair? Okay. Well, what we do is we basically move, turn, and we're doing the same thing, but we're stepping in instead of stepping back. But it's the same thing. When I pass him with this hand, in order to grab kotagaishi with this hand, Aren't, aren't my hips in the same position? So I'm using the Aikido concept to apply to the karate movement, the Aiki aspect of karate. What a good name for a seminar. Maybe we should try one of those. Okay, so. Now, you guys, of course, don't have this. Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Let's go on the side. Let me play hey on two for a moment. Does that look like hey on two? Right? But I'm not going to tell you how to do this. You can decide, I will give you a little instruction, but you can decide the emphasis you're going to put on it. Then we're going to troubleshoot it. Okay. Your job is to take him down again. If you can't fall, let the person know. In Aiki, usually you either tank on entry or you do an open step, cross step like this. Okay? You go in, relax, turn your hips. Is that fair? Okay. You actually don't need that. You can do it in place, but to get the sequence you want to do. Okay. In karate, you might do, oh, I'm going to stretch, and then I'm going to go do that. You got it? Step in, mm -hmm. but your hips are going to go this way, like you're stretching this way. Here's my front stance. Now the arms go right in front of the body. So it's a sweep over? Yeah, it's usually your knee on. Okay. I'm going to step in, and this pulls the chamber. Okay? 
My, so I'm not stretching now. I'm already in chain. Simulate an elbow strike. You don't have to hit her. She'll appreciate it if you don't hit her. Do not do, and this is the, the difficulty, do not do hanmi and use your arm. Do square and then drop your gay down with hanmi. So not this, but this. Thus you're using your hips. Just the opposite, by the way, of this, which was hanmi to square. This is going to be square to hanmi. Uh, put that foot Step in here. Uh, don't turn that over there into the chain. Uh, now stop. You're thinking of phone, so you want to extend it. Oh, yes. Square. Hit him with your elbow. Good. Oh, yeah, we didn't do the elbow. Now expand. Yeah, if you expand and get on board, doesn't your face go this way and your knee bend that one? Yes. So that's what you should do. Just do the back top. Or the basics. Or the basics. <laughs> now this throw, which we called Soka Minari Minagi in Aikido, um, is done in karate all over the place. It's all over your kata, and it doesn't matter what style. Whenever you have a foot forward, and you have hands extend and go like this, or go like this, you have it. You just don't know it. Yeah, you have to vary it a little bit. Your pressure is a little different each time. Okay, it may not be in his upper body, maybe in his lower body. <coughs> you may have to get a little closer in one and not so close in another. But it's all over. They're just variations of a theme. Okay. Well, you have movements that look like this. Okay. I wouldn't have you do the same thing twice because I want to change you know, your perception. So instead of doing this, which was Hanmi to Mako, the second time I had you do Mako square to Hanmi, didn't I? Now I'm having you do Hanmi to Hanmi with a Shikodachi or Kibodachi. So how do you get the rotation power? You don't. That's my point. Because you're going to want to do what you're familiar with. Instead, do the kata. In the kata, you don't do this. In the kata, you do this. Or kiba. You sink. Right? You sink and you throw your hands in this position. Look at me. Now, forget about the quality of throw. Just look at me. Sink straight down. And I rest my case. You didn't have to turn. So really not